good YouTube, man. It's Gabe with another fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content of this video. Go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel. Go ahead and hit subscribe. All right. We're here, man. Ravens versus Jaguars. It's not a victory Monday, but a disappointment Monday. All right. The Ravens lose to Jacksonville Jaguars 28-27 on the last second uh, two-point conversion. Um, you know, shout out to the Jaguars. You know, shout out to Doug Peterson for having the, you know, the the, the stones to do, you know, to play all the line like that. They're three, they were a three and seven ball club, so that was probably their best chance to win the game, and they, and they grabbed it. Beautiful by right now. All right. Now the Ravens have had a series of disappointing games versus the Jaguars franchise. Uh, I remind, remind me of the. Uh, it was like uh, either Ravens scored three points or no points on Monday Night Football with Joe Flacco many many years ago. It was one of the worst Ravens I've ever had to sit through. Um, the London game a couple years ago, uh, like 2017, when they had that really, really great defense. And the Ravens just got absolutely trampled uh, on foreign soil. Uh, never want to see a Ravens London game again. And then uh, today, or yesterday's game, where the Ravens just uh, didn't take advantage of opportunities. So this, the title of really, this video is probably going to be uh, Missed Opportunities or something like that. Because that's what it was, okay? And what do I mean by that? The Ravens were 2 or 5. Two for five in the red zone, okay? Ravens, this season, are third in red zone attempts per game in the NFL. Great. But they're 24th in red zone touchdown percentage. So the percentage of times that they get those red zone opportunities and convert them into touchdowns, they're in the bottom echelon of the league, okay? And it really is about two for four, which doesn't sound bad, right? I don't know, two for four, 50%, okay, whatever, right? No. There are teams in the top 10, top five that convert 70 plus percent of getting into the red zone and converting into touchdowns. And the Ravens fell well, well short of that mark, okay? So, if you're a physical running team, right, how can you constantly get into the red zone and then your offense constantly stalls out? That's an issue, okay? But let's talk about the game, right? First quarter, um, the Ravens the Ravens come out with a mixture, right? So, I will say this. One of the first plays of the game, maybe second play of the game, Demarcus Robinson is open down the field like 50, 60 yards, all right? And Lamar misses him. We got to be honest about it. Misses him by a couple yards. It's not like a bad miss. It's just a play that if they connect, that's probably a touchdown, all right? But the Ravens still end up getting into the uh, red zone, and they get a lineup slow, delay a game. We've seen this movie so many times. John Harbaugh has an interesting comment about that coming out of halftime. Be anyway, ready. So they line up slow, delay a game, stalls the drive, 3-0, Ravens, Jags, right? Um, they they couldn't take advantage of getting to the red zone. All right, so that's the first time. Ravens defense comes out. Roger Washington gets the sack. They get the, the Jaguars uh, have a couple of good plays. Like Zay Jones was a menace this entire game for the uh, for the Jags. Um, just find the soft spots in the zone. All right. Um, Trevor Lawrence played pretty well, but the Ravens get to the Jags until fourth and one. Great. Calais Campbell was a monster. He don't let them convert it. Well, really, with the whole team, after Geno Stone was in there, a bunch of guys was in there, linebackers, everybody, okay? Second drive, you can know that the Ravens are getting Jaguars touches. I mean, Jaguars, sorry. Devin Duvernay touches, right? Which is great. Uh, we'll see it this week, and then we we'll probably won't see it again next week just because of how inconsistent the play calling is on this offense. But they made an effort to get him touches this week. Okay, cool. All right. Lamar, they get into the red zone again because they're already pretty much there. They get down there. And uh, Lamar does a beautiful, does a beautiful play. He rolls out to the right. Those are absolute strike to Demarcus Robinson. Who had a great game last week, right? Now this game, like I said, Lamar just rolls out to his right. Absolute strike should be a touchdown. Hits him in the chest play, bounces off. So now that's two red zone possessions, two field goals uh, by really by Ravens mistakes. All right, Demarcus Robinson plays a flat out drop. The Ravens might have had about four or five drops in this game. Okay. You can't win like that. All right. The Jazz go three and out. Oh, big news for the Jazz. Travis Etienne goes out, does not come back. You would think, like, okay, now the Ravens, that's probably their best offensive weapon for the Jaguars, right? Travis Etienne. Um, him being out, that's great. Jermichael Hasty comes in and pretty much is maybe because he's a smaller back, slippery. The Ravens are having an absolute terrible time trying to tackle this guy. Absolutely terrible time. Um, so <laughs> that 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 leads to problems, right? Anyway, so uh, the Ravens get the ball back after Jack goes cool three and out, and they moving the ball well. It looks like Lamar Jackson gets the run, gets gets the first down on like a third and one or third and two. He's short, fourth and one. He tries the QB sneak again. Um, he fumbles. 
right? You know, he fumbles. Okay, it happens, all right? The the Jaguars start to go a little more tempo. Uh, Hasty's getting involved in the passing game and the running game. He's really giving the Ravens issues. Um, Zay Jones is getting giving Ravens issues. And then they hit a cover two kind of hole shot, right? Great, great throw, great play. Uh, I'm not going to play Marcus Peters. If anything, that's one of the safety to not get over top. I will have to see the play again and know for sure. But the way Peters was playing, it looked like he was in cover two. He had to decide between the short and the deep. And um, it really wasn't his own to play. All right, so it's 7-6, it's right? Um, the Raiders get the ball back. What I know about the Raiders game, they, they, let, they missed a lot of understanding of this game, which was great, right? You finally get to mix in uh, what you've been talking about this whole offseason. Oh, we're going to run more into da 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 and great, great for them, right? Uh, but once again, you know, they hit a couple passes to Sean Dash, and uh, whatever. They get out to the red zone again. Well, they don't get out to the red zone this time, I'm sorry. They get to about around midfield, get a little closer, about 38 yard line, stall out, just a tuck a field goal. So, three drives, get across the 50, 9 7. That's the score. That's the score, 9 7. The Ravens just don't take advantage of the opportunities, bro. That's, that's, that's as simple as that. This game was a game of missed opportunities offensively and defensively. It's on both sides of the ball. It's not just one side. They both um, missed opportunities to really grab a hold of the game and put the Jaguars away. Both sides of the ball missed it. All right. Um, so also, I say that, like I said, they don't was open a lot. And honestly, I think the Ravens missed Kyle Hamilton, bro. I really do. With Kyle Hamilton not being able to play, it forced um, Brandon Stevens to play a lot. Not saying Brandon Stevens was horrible, but he's not as good as Kyle Hamilton. Um, it forced that it forced a shift, right? Brandon Stevens is as best as an outside corner, right? Ball Hunt played a lot in the slot, which I don't mind. I like I like Humphrey in the slot from time to time. Cool, right? Uh, but it forced Brandon Stevens to play a lot of snaps, um, and he it just wasn't that defense just wasn't the same. Kyle Helms was really starting to get into a groove, and it felt like the Ravens missed him. It really did. I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, but Ravens played a lot of a lot of soft coverage. So what did the Jags do? Just like the Bengals game, a lot of bubbles, a lot of screens. Come up, make a tackle if you can. Sometimes the Ravens did. Sometimes the Ravens didn't. Um, but they, anyway, the Jaguars get down there, and and the, and the Ravens hold them, bro. Ties Bowser blows up a run play, um, but Hasty is still giving them the issues. You, you can see it. Uh, but it's 10 it's 10 9 at halftime. All right, 10 9 at halftime. And come out of halftime, right? The, the, the reporter, I forgot her name, asked John Harbaugh, you know, your standard halftime question, da da da, whatever. And John Harbaugh says, he says the plays are not coming out fast enough, and we're going to get that adjusted going into the second half. So now, uh, once again, the same issue that you addressed earlier in the season. You have to address again with Greg Roman about not getting the plays in fast enough. Why are we in week 12 of the season and the plays are still not getting in fast enough? That's a major, major issue. Like, if you're an offense, you have to line up with five seconds on the play clock. You're putting the defense at the advantage. There's not much you can do with that. Now, in the second half, they did line up a little faster. They were getting to the line with uh, 10, 11, 12 seconds. Great. All right. That gives you more time to operate. Good. But the fact that this is still an issue is, is embarrassing. It's really, it's really embarrassing, bro. I mean, you just got to be honest with it. It's really embarrassing. Um, so defense starts off second half pretty much. And, uh, you know, defense played pretty well, man. I'm not going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to be honest. Defense played pretty well. Uh, but for the offense, uh, Josh Oliver, big play down the sideline. Once again, Lamar Jackson rolls out, throws a beautiful pass. Lamar Jackson was really good passing the game. He had he had, all quarterbacks missed some throws, so I, I don't really get too deep into that. But he was good. He was good today, uh, yesterday. Uh, good throw to Duvernay on the slant. Uh, good run, right? Uh, he went through all his progressions real quick. Bang, ran up the cut. Um, here we go, another missed opportunity right here. Lamar Jackson throws a beautiful touch pass to Josh Oliver, right? Josh Oliver, you're playing for the Jaguars, right? You mad if they cut you, you use a third round pick, they play a lot. You want to show them up, all right? This is the time to shine right here. And listen, I'm not saying it's an easy catch. It's not. But if you get both hands on the ball and he drops it, that's a big play, man. So, Ravens, once again, field goal, 12 to 10. At this point in the game, the Ravens have been in the red zone three times. Have three field goals. 
No touchdowns. Ravens have four drives in this game total, and they have four field goals. Right? Okay. Um, it just wasn't good enough, bro. It just wasn't good enough. Um, weird shout out. The Jaguars punter was really good. <laughs> he could have punt, he could have pinned the Ravens deep multiple times to the ball back to the end zone. He finally got him deep that one time at the, like the one yard line. So he was good to that. He was good to, uh, uh, in that game. But the Ravens get out of there. All right. Mark Andrews gets a big catch. Okay. Great. Draw doesn't really do anything. It's a punt. All right. Um, now big play. This is time to take advantage and grab hold of the game. Right. And the Ravens, the Ravens do it. Uh, Ty's Bowser forces a fumble on uh, Trevor Lawrence. I don't know if they're gonna count that as a sack or just a or just a, uh, a strip, just because I don't know how if you how far he was behind the line of scrimmage. But anyway, so Ravens get down there, they uh, they score. And it's nineteen ten. Now I, I do want to say this: the Ravens use Lamar Jackson way too much running up the middle in goal line situations. Lamar just got hit hard a couple of times this game, and I really did not like it. Like he got hit really hard, bro. And this is your, well, we'll see if this is your franchise quarterback because, you know, you haven't paid him yet. But in the eyes of all Ravens fans, especially, well, at least at least to me, he's your franchise quarterback. He is the franchise. Why are you putting him in harm's way like that? You have Gus Edwards. You have King and Drake. Have them run up the middle and get hit. I'm just not a, I'm just not a fan of using him that way. I like when they use Lamar Jackson to get around the edge. All this up the middle stuff, I guess it works sometimes. And when it works, I'll give it credit, whatever. But your QB should not be have to, that should not be subject to hits by linebackers like that. I'm sorry, it just shouldn't happen. All right. Um, but Gus Edwards scores. Okay, whatever. Um, great second effort by Gus Edwards gets in there. 19 to 10, right? The Ravens take advantage of a Jaguars turnover. The Ravens take advantage of being in the red zone. All right. Um then the Ravens come out, get a sack. My homie gets a TFL. But then they give up a fourth and eight. That fourth and eight right there. Now, this is the first missed opportunity by the defense. That fourth and eight right there was a chance to put the nail in the coffin of the game. They don't do it. All right. Trevor Lawrence throws a great ball down the sideline. I believe it's probably Zay Jones again. Um, nice little cover two shot again. Um, Marcus Pease was upset. He probably wanted to be in man coverage, but they weren't. And I've got to know here. The Ravens give it the underneath game the entire game, bro. In the entire game, the Ravens score. I mean, the Jaguars score. It's a tough route. God moves in, cuts back out. 1917, all right? It is what it is, bro. Um, the Ravens just don't take advantage enough of, of the opportunity they had this game. Um, and then I believe this is when Gus Edwards fumbles, right? Now Jags are in the red zone. <laughs> Momentum has shifted completely. It's like six minutes left in the game. And they get a field goal. Ravens hold them. Uh, Roquan Smith makes a great tackle. Ravens get Ravens hold them. Then Ravens come back on offense. Great bomb down the field to Deshaun Jackson. Beautiful throw by Lamar Jackson. 62 yards. Ravens score um, in a couple plays following. Uh, I believe it's Josh Oliver. Makes up for dropping that other touchdown. Great. Um, he scores, right? Gets it to the end zone. Uh, Ravens go for two. Mark Andrews converts it. It's beautiful. It's all beautiful, right? Now, this is what we've been talking about. This is what I talk about all the time. When this Ravens defense needs to get one stop, one stop, can they get it? The answer is no. They couldn't get it. And this has been a problem since Ray Lewis has left the building. And like, what are you talking about? Whoa, 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 right? Ever since Ray Lewis is gone, I, I, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not, this is not really in the, even a stat-based thing. I feel like when a team has a chance to win the game by driving down the field in a two-minute drill, they do it versus the Ravens. They do it. It doesn't matter who the DC is. It could be it could be uh, uh, Dean Pease. It could be Wayne Martindale. It could be you know Mike McDonald. I don't know. They just don't get that last stop, bro. It just doesn't happen. They just don't get that final stop. And I'm not. And the Panthers game don't count to me because they were up multiple possessions at that point. It was 13 to three. It was the 10 point game. This right here is when it's a one possession game. You get this stop, you win the game. They just don't do it, yo. I just haven't seen it in a long, long time. All right, you know the rest. Ravens, Ravens play soft coverage. Ravens pretty much play prevent defense. Give the Jaguars all the underneath stuff, and that's what they take. Boom, 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 boom up the field. They hit a long one to. Maybe Christian Kirk or Zay Jones, one of these guys. I don't know. But anyway, the Jaguars gets the red zone. They score. All right, 
Great play, great catch by Marvin Jones, corner of the end zone. So, um, anyway, disappointment Monday. The Ravens had multiple opportunities to snatch this game, and they didn't. The Ravens had some of their old foes um, in terms of things that held them back come up in this game. All right, We're talking about drops. We're talking about red zone inefficiency. Two for five in the red zone. One more of those possessions ended a touchdown. This game is a, this game is a dub, right? Three for five in the red zone wins this game. Okay, so they go two for five. All right, the defense had multiple opportunities to shut the door. This defense has a lot of money spent on it. This defense has Roquan Smith on it now. When it's time to shut the door, it needs to happen. So that's it, man. Ravens lose. It's on to the next week. You can't really think about it too much. It is what it is. Um, they're seven and four. I believe the Bengals won versus the Titans, so they're they're now seven and four. The Ravens have the advantage because um, they're undefeated in the division. I still projected this Ravens team to win twelve games, so they're still on course for that. We'll see what happens. But um, this Jaguars game was not one of the games I counted as a loss. Right? It just wasn't. And the Ravens. Have a tab of bad habit of playing down or playing to the level of their competition. The Jaguars were at three and seventeen, who had lost, I believe, six of their last seven games. Come on, man, can't do that. I will give Justin Tucker credit for the end of the game. He almost makes a sixty-seven yard field goal to build the Ravens out. Doesn't do it. Can't be mad at Tuck for that. I mean, it's a long field goal, bro. He would look like he looked like if it was from sixty-four, he would have made it, which is incredible. So. Um, but that's the end of this recap, man. Uh, Ravens lose. Disappointment Monday. Just don't take advantage of the opportunities. Let let the game slip from their grasp when they had it. And um, that's it, man. You know, uh, shout out to the Jaguars. They play a tough game. They're a good young team. Well, not a good young team. They're they're um, <laughs> they they play hard. <laughs> okay, put it like that. They play hard. Uh, Trevor Lawrence looks to be like you know a real NFL quarterback. So that's good for them. I will say that at least. Um, but yeah, man, Ravens lose this point of game. Give me your thoughts in the comments about it. Um, and we'll talk about it there, man. It's your boy Gabriel. This is on the Fan TV. I'm out.